Yeah, right, yeah. it gives me great pleasure to speak to the lounge lizard, the goat's ledge legend that is Leon Pettit. Uh, Leon is going to be joining me in doing a weekly non-league roundup of all the uh, local sides from step five. So we're looking at Bexhill, the very successful Bexhill United, all the way down to the East Sussex Prem. Sides like St. Leonard Social, Rock and Or. And what it was, we thought we'd just go through this quickly because some a lot of people actually wouldn't know uh, about a lot of our local sides. And it is a thriving, Sussex football in general is thriving. And, you know, I wanted, what I wanted to do was, and, and Leon, because he's the expert, the Icklesham legend that he is. <laughs> the, <laughs> don't you laugh, mate. I've heard that you're, that you're up to four beers per, uh, per appearance now. Is that true? That's my demands. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That we want to talk up this local football because there's lots of lots of great stuff going on. Not just Hastings. Obviously, we love Hastings, and this podcast will always be Hastings focused. But we wanted to give some love to the local sides. Leon, it's I mean, in terms of the steps now, obviously Hastings was step four. That's the uh, Ishman Southeast, and we've now gone up to step three. So, Leon, talk us through it. So, obviously, the the, the bottom level, which is like the East Sussex Prem. As we go up those levels, what are the things that they have to have to have in place to make sure that they don't they don't miss out on promotion? Uh, so if, if you want to get promoted from the Sussex Prem side to play that level already, you already have to have half decent changing facilities for both teams, for officials, you know, like the, just shower facilities, or whatever. But to get promoted, that's when you're looking at getting sort of like railings around the pitch, maybe a bit of hard standing dugouts so that's to get promoted into step seven yeah and then from step seven into sort of step six your county league level that's that's when you're introducing your floodlights you're covering for spectators and then step five is probably seating and like a fully enclosed ground like we saw um little common had problems with their ground where it wasn't permanently enclosed so they were facing not being able to play at step five football where they shared at Eastbourne United, so they could play step five. Yeah, when did they go back? Wasn't that uh, a few months back when they went back yeah, there? Yeah. I think it was around January time. Oh, was it? It was January, I yeah? I think, yeah, yeah. So they were ground sharing over at Eastbourne and finally got got to make a return to their to their own grounds, which is obviously... It's a nice, nice, little, nice little ground as well. Yeah, nice, nice little setup. And they've done well, really, over the years to build up from, from where they were to what level they're playing at now. So fair, right. fair play to them. Yeah, fair play. Okay, so Leon, so obviously at step five, we've got uh, the magnificent Bexhill United who absolutely spoke the league, uh, a, a magnificent se- uh, season. What are those? Uh, what are the other big sides in that step five that are lo- uh, local to us, for those that don't know? So local to us, the other team in that league are, are Little Common. Yeah, obviously coming up against very good sides like Little Hampton. You see they've won the league and have got their final at the um got their final in the FA Vars at Wembley, playing against likes of Salt Dean, who allegedly were throwing a lot of money about. But um for the likes of Little Common who don't spend the money to be coming up against teams that, you know, might have a bit of cash on them. That's the sort of teams they're up against, hoping to make that step up into Isthmian football. Mm. So and then and then we go down uh, lower. That's uh, step six. Yeah, likely so, yeah. there's no one at step six. So yeah, we've got no one at step six. Then step seven. There's your Hollingtons, your Westfields. Yeah, uh, yeah, Hollington, Westfields, Sidley, Sidley, and Settlescombe. Yeah, Sidley, Settlescombe Rangers. Yeah, those I are mean, local. I know there's been rumblings about it, but I mean that Sidley, the, the Sidley boss just resigned. Do you any rumours there? Anything you you've heard on the grapevine of uh, about um, that? I think it's a case of he's sort of taken them as far as he can go, really, because um, where they're sharing that, well, they've had their fair share of ground issues last few years, and um, I think sharing that little common has enabled them to play step seven and due to like planning. Like planning rules at Little Common, they can only use the ground so many for so many evening games. So obviously, Little Common can play there, but Sidley wouldn't That's be able to make that step out. up. Yeah, because of this bylaw or whatever it is, and planning it means that. So yeah, the manager is obviously taken as far as he can go. He's won, won the Mid Sussex Prem, he's won the Sussex Intermediate Cup, and has obviously decided to to step down. Yeah. So we have to see. Um, so what's if next they can for them? Sort eh? out the, if they can sort out their own ground. 
So they were playing at Little Common. So so where are they going to go now? I guess stay at Little Common. Stay in the Mid-Sussex, Mid-Sussex Prem. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I get you. So what you're saying is they can't go up. Even though no. they won it, they can't yeah. go up because of ground no. issues. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Whereas um, Ringmo come second, probably could go up because they've got they've got their own grounds. That's, I'm guessing, up to, up to standard for Step 6. As we go down to Step 8, what's the sides we're looking at there? That's Teams like Battle Town, Crowhurst. St. Ellis Social, Bexhill Town, Roberts Bridge, Norvium. You've got Hawkehurst, Rock and Roll and Wadhurst. Yeah, Battle Town have just won that league after quite a few frustrating seasons after COVID, where they were probably looking likely to win it. And it'd be interesting to see if they will, if they want to make the step up to step seven, whether or not their ground will allow Have you ever to. been there? I've never been to Battle Town's ground. Yeah, and no, I've played there a few times. Yeah, it's a nice, it's, it's, it's a nice flat pitch. Like, you know, if you play the level I do, just a general flat pitch was lovely really but whether they're they're changing facilities or up to up to standard i i mm. couldn't tell you but i think they're quite ambitious and sort of hoping to make the step up so we'll just have to have to okay. see if they can now throughout the weeks once we come back from pre-season i'm going to have lots of the managers on people the playing staff i'm hoping that leon's gonna bring his insights into this because he knows these levels. I don't. I've seen the odd game here and there. Hollington, Westfield, Bexhill. I haven't had the joys of watching a lot of these sides. So that's why Leon's here. Leon's given his his uh, razor, razor sharp insights into this. We're going to have lots of people coming on from all the local sides. What we want to do is anyone that's listening to this, please, if you play for a local team, get your match reports into us. Um, we'd love to be able to play some of them on the podcast, just a, a roundup of what's going on local football. We really, really want to know what's happening with your side. Yeah, that's why we're doing this. We love football. We love this town. We want yeah. everyone to do well. The local reporting in the paper has just gone downhill mm-hmm. so much the last few years, like um, since was it Simon Newstead left, like the reporting in local football is n- nothing like it used to be. So I think if you can get, you know, if a few local teams on there pu- pushing out the message, you know, that for for local grassroots football, mm. that people still, you know, there's still plenty of participants at that level, despite the facilities in the that town. Is, no, absolutely. Odd. That's the thing. It, this is about getting that message out there that, that it's criminal. It's criminal that the, the lack of promotion that goes on for all of mm. this. You, you see football being played everywhere. The, the, the facilities are terrible. Half the time, the pitches aren't that be- good, but the, the enthusiasm is there. And mm. despite that, there's tons of good players coming through. So, yeah, you know, that that's why we're doing it. I'm going to get all woke now. You're <laughs> going to join me on this journey next season, aren't you? I am, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be yeah. there. But if, you know, if you're listening to, listen to this and you're a Hastings fan and maybe you can't get to, to an away game, if it's a bit too far, then why not go watch you know, Hollington, yeah, absolutely. Westfield, Little Common, Bexhill, whoever, you know, go give them a bit of support if you can't get to Hastings games. So, you know, like Bexhill have been getting really good attention, or Little Common as well, really. Not quite the same level as Bexhill, but, you know, for that level, they've still been getting good good crowds. And Hollington, considering, you know, they, for the last few years, have still been at like park, you know, that sort of park football. Obviously, they made a step up since, but they get, you know, good Good crowds, they get good attendances up there. Even when I've played their seconds, don't not call it into me. I tell oh, you, no, I, I saw you. Out. I was careful there. Yeah, <laughs> see the look of my there. Asher will be on you, mate. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you can't get to a Hastings game, then give, give your local, more local teams a bit of support. Yeah, absolutely. Football fix. Yeah, we all love. We look. We're all Hastings family, and that goes wider than Hastings United. We're a football family, Hastings family. Uh, exactly. You know. It, 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 we want all our clubs to be doing well because yeah, mm. if they all do well everyone does well and then it knocks on for, for me selfish me uh, it can then knock on to some of these players going up to Hastings United yeah we're, you know yeah. we're going places as well and um, yeah well especially you know if you've got Hastings sort of spearheading you know local local football obviously we've had a fantastic last few years sort of touch, touching on getting the facilities up to scratch if you know, Hastings are up there, the, the peak of local football with good, decent facilities. And even the lads that don't necessarily make that level of football, they're going to filter down, yeah, down absolutely. the levels to, you know, to local. So the local teams are going to benefit as well. I mean, if I was if I was back at college, I'm not saying I'd ever would have played Hastings level, but like to do that sort of full-time football and education thing, I would have loved to have done that. 
it might have, you know, would have benefited me as a as a footballer. I might have played one division higher than what I ever have, but you know, it's still it's still something, isn't it? No, absolutely, Leon. Thanks for your time, Leon. Um, no I'm going to really enjoy this weekly rundown of um, all the local teams' uh, results. We're going to try and get some interviews. We're going to get some match reports from the playing staff and 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 any fans out there as well. Any fans of any of these local sides, please send it in or just give us a call, whatever. We could sort it out. This is your forum, yeah? So, because yeah, it ain't getting out any other way. You ain't getting it from the papers, mate. You're getting hardly anything from the papers. So you got to, let's just do it ourselves. Do you know what I mean? So um, yeah, yeah. anyway, Leon Chap, you take care. I shall see you in the Prem and I'll see you on this <laughs> podcast uh, pre-season, mate. We'll, yes, we'll, we shall yeah. catch up again pre-season. Will do. Yeah, see you in the Prem. Oh,